takes a lot to step on stage. It takes a lot to be competitive. And to get to that next level, you have to have a, a great coach, um, a great trainer, a great nutritionist. Um, it takes, like I said, it takes a team to build an athlete. So. There's a time to joke around, but when we're in the gym and then we start getting in the rhythm with, with the actual training, all the jokes go away and then it's time to, it, it's time to get to work. business for about 24 years, um, working with competitive athletes, about 10, um, from NFL players to bodybuilders to uh, NBA players. Um, I'm just a big fan of the, of the body, um, how it changes, how it adapts. Um, it's just an amazing machine. It's a perfect machine on the earth. You'll never see anything like it. He runs everything that's related to the gym. So my entire training regime, is ran ran and managed by him so he puts me he determines the split that we're going to do uh the different exercises the set rep breakdowns the tempo and his job is basically he he based on uh based on the the diet at that chris acido uh and the cardio regime that chris acido lays out we, his piece is he tailors the training, the training regimen around that. We just try to keep the, the business at hand first. Um, yes, we do try to catch up on the days together, you know what I mean? Um, but at the end of the day, it's about getting down to business and moving his weight and, and making his physique better every time. Yeah, sometimes we up, sometimes we're down, but at the end of the day, the, the weight has to move. We can't have no wasted workouts, we can't have no wasted reps. So if he's in a, he's, if he's in a bad mood, it doesn't matter. If I'm in a bad mood, it doesn't matter because the task at hand is get to the Olympia and that's it. So it doesn't matter what type of mood we in, we have to work out, we have to train, it doesn't matter. Ah. Ah. big legs person. I love training legs, but I, I'm really enjoying back day. Yeah. I told her Here we go, we're working with UV. Uh, it's a uh, current it goes right into his muscle. And what it does, it creates a new muscle-mind connection. The machine will create Mumbling and scrummaging, pretending that they bumping what I got rumbling on these platforms because they know that I'm sworn for the monetary. So they fiending for association with me just to come it remotely feels close in proximity to Almost the like I got a, a pulsing massage while I'm doing the exercise. It's a very intense sensation, but for me, it's not so much painful. But you have to really focus each contraction when your muscles are already being forced to contract or with, without you even activating. muscle, so your brain still understands that, oh, 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 it's the muscle, because it gives a 
lot of simulation. Many different fibers, you know, are working right now. Not only one muscle, one specific fiber type. Everything is working. That's why you see this. Distracted, no improvement. Look, soon as the jet land, I'm out the gate and onto the plane. You understand now? Ambition got me like safari. I know to validate it from the faulty. Delete their numbers, never call me. I'm prepared to deliver. Flow. How's it feel? It's intense. <laughs> it's intense. Yeah. Talk to me about um, the shop gym. Tell me about Jason. Tell me about the community there and like the positive vibes that that we've discussed about the shop. Like, let everybody know about what you like about it and everything that goes on there. Oh, I love training at the. I love training at the shop gym. It's a great. It's a great environment. Great, great vibes. Uh, Jason is a true. He, he's he's a true enthusiast and also lover of the sport. And so I, I respect anybody that that loves our sport and that makes us feel at home. He he lets uh, he lets IFBB pros train for free, and and you know when I've gone into his gym, he's always made made me feel at home. Um, his, his gym has a variety of equipment. It's all it, it's always something that, uh, you know, specialty pieces I could use. And I just love being there. I love the energy. I, I can put my hood down, my hoodie down and, and just, you know, get to work and grind on the weights. It's just one of those nights, yeah. money over nights. Cruising through the city with my shoddy on the right. Don't you get left, yeah. come before I next. Nah. All about the locks, money, power, and respect. Boys an athlete. He's been on the stage before. The only difference is, is that it's going to be different competitors. Yes, you want to place. You want to win. Got it. Okay. But don't lose the um, perspective. Don't lose your perspective and think that, oh my gosh, I came in last. But then I'm going to ask the question, did your body change? Did your body change? to how it was supposed to be or what you envisioned, you know, a year ago. And if that answer is yes, then that's a win for you. Real talk, you ain't saying nothing. Real talk, that's for certain, man. Real talk. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> That's my dog, man. We've been through a lot. We've been through a lot, man. That's my dog. Seven, seven, seven my weeks dog. out, man. Man with me through through hell and back, man. He, he hit me up. You know, I one... started with a DM. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Dude, this process has been a long journey. Mm -hmm. A lot of naysayers. A lot of people saying, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people saying, oh, this shit ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's I'm I'm gonna make it fucking happen. I'm gonna make it happen. I mean, with my shield on it, I'm gonna go in there in the pro. I'm gonna give it my best. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let it all hang out, leave it all on the stage, let Steve Weinberger sort it out. And, and I just wanna I want battle with any and everybody. I nothing's given. Nothing's given in this league. Everything is earned. And when when my when I decide to retire from bodybuilding, I want my name mentioned among the greats. So I got a good team. I got Chris Aceto, I got Dwayne, I got Chris Comier for on the posing, teaching me my stage presence. Mm -hmm. That that's that's the trifecta right there for me. So we just we just gonna go in there, handle business, do what we gotta do and and get to this Olympia. Real talk. Facts, bro. That's for certain man, real talk. To be continued.